bad behavior. Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click like and of course the subscribe right now. Let's just go straight to eight to eight without hesitation. Frank Warren's Queensbury promotions have now officially confirmed that Tyson Fury vs. Wilson Usyk for the undisputed WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO with War titles is signed for Saudi Arabia. Reported dates December 23rd or January 23rd bro. No wonder the Joshua Water fire is been is now dead in January. Um death for January and it's been you know like they want to move it to March, February or something like that. And reportedly Fury is gonna get, be getting paid um be getting over hundred million dollars you know for this fight right here now this is the guy right here the new head of sports um in Saudi Arabia his name is Toki the guy has over 13 million followers on the Instagram over 6 million plus on uh, Twitter very influential and this is like the new man in in town basically taking over from the previous one whom of course I had good um, um, contact with um, Eddie Hearn of Matron Boxing however this new guy right here seems to be more of a Team Fury so this is him right here taking a picture with uh, Usyk and Tyson Fury so he's a deep broker right here now he's part of the Riyadh season uh, uh, what they call it I think Riyadh uh, season yeah season uh season series basically a host of more fights he's also the one that broke out the day between uh francis gano and uh tyson fury fight um now let's get to it right here the fight is signed and signed and sealed all agreed payments um uh fee everything agreed but we all know that fury has had this scenario before where he signed to fight Vladimir Klitschko and he didn't take that fight okay, that was before they had the first fight in Germany he pulled out okay in the rematch he pulled out this guy is known for pulling out in fights he know that there's danger in it of him in, in regards to him losing and takes it after I don't know after doing something some things to advance you know his chances of winning now is this disrespectful to Francis Ghana because they literally just like this is something you do basically after the fight right you like you you do after like that fight even though some boxing fans might say oh that's not a real fight Francis Ghana is not a boxer and stuff but he has a chance to 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 to, to knock a fury out he's he got the power it's just that he's not a boxer and he might not be able to catch Fury, but if he does, what if he does? There's a little chance that they would wish him. Can't count anybody out. What do you guys make of this right here? This girl Brown, yeah, I did want it to give his take. Yes, sir. Um Ungano doesn't have a chance, bro. I promise you that. Ungano is not going to touch Tyson. Tyson is gonna dance around that guy for like six rounds, seven rounds. And by that time I expect Ungano to be tired. And Fury will try to stop him. He will try. He might not be successful, but he will try. But I see Tyson Fury winning that fight either ways. He, Ongan, that's his first pro fight in boxing. There is no way someone in his debut can defeat a defending champion, especially a good defending champion. And I'm not a Tyson Fury fan. I do not like Tyson. I have too many negative things to say about the guy. He's a drug cheat. He's a he's a um, glove cheat. He he associates himself with some unscrupulous elements. I do not like Tyson for nothing. He's not good for for the heavyweight division. He's entertaining, but at the later part of his career that we're experiencing right now, he's not good for the heavyweight division. So the right thing that should have been done was to have stripped Tyson after refusing to fight for so long but the wbc is helping him keep the belt so it is what it is 
I am not excited about the fights against Usyk, Alexander Usyk. And I know some people might feel like, yeah, this guy is just a hater. Yes, I'm a hater. I am a hater as far as Fury versus Usyk is concerned. Daniel Dubois should have those three belts. He's not a better fighter than Usyk, but he won that fight. And Usyk robbed him. Or rather, the referee robbed him because the referee probably is a far left guy that is in support of the war going on in Ukraine. You know what was going on? They included politics to boxing, to sports. It's annoying. Okay. Daniel Dubois should have had those belts that night, even though he's not a better fighter than Usyk, but he got the job done. He landed a clean punch on Usyk's belly and they ruled it a low blow. And that was unfair. So, yeah, I'm not excited about Fury Usyk fight. I hope Unganu upsets this card. They both don't deserve to be fighting for undisputed in the heavyweight division. And that's my take. I have to say, the boss for this fight is not really much. If this was to be announced, if this was to be Joshua, Wilder, like, it would be trending, but it's not trending. It's weird. But I don't think people believe this fight is going to happen, for real. Tajak, we... Uh, Bro, let me make this last point. Oh, yeah. You know what yeah. fight is also happening? It's the Saudis. Because the Saudis are trying to sport wash their country. So they are using sports. They are investing billions in, in golf, in, in car race, boxing, soccer, so many sports. That's what the Saudis are doing. If the Saudis were not putting the money down for this fight, we're not going to get the fight. Because three is too greedy and too afraid of the little guy Usyk for some reason I don't know why the guy is I wouldn't say sport wash anything because I think the Saudis citizens they love uh, sports the Sa listen the Saudi citizens uh, like football is the biggest sport in Saudi Arabia and it's been like that for a long time and the, the new generation love sports remember when they beat Argentina in the, in the, at the recent held World Cup in Qatar Bro, these guys are passionate for, for, for sports. But I don't know about boxing or stuff like that, but I do know that when it comes to wrestling, you know, football, football number one sport there, and they're very passionate about it. And it's not a bad thing to promote your image because, listen, there's even the European sport, they literally, they what watched a lot of things to us. Like, imagine me growing up in Nigeria thinking Europe is heaven. I remember then, because of the the pictures and TV which we were shown, and I was to, I always thought that you know, the money 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 is in the tree. Basically, your money is everywhere. <laughs> Until you get there, you say that shit. Oh damn, bro! You have to work hard, like crazy, like pay many bills. Or taxes are crazy. But you have so many insurances you have to pay. Like it's all like it's not as the same. So basically. The Saudis are no different from the Europeans. It's just facts. This is what I've been doing for. I mean, we accept it now because it's like, because, I don't know, we basically accept anything European, I guess. As Africans, let's keep it right here, bro. Is what Europeans have done to Africa for the past 400 years. I mean, we shouldn't even accept any a lot of things we accept. But we still accept it because, you know, because of their demographic. But let it be the Saudi, you know, who probably did the Saudi did what Europeans Europe did, did uh, do. Uh, I mean, the BBC, CNN, BBC, everybody was talking about it. They would like literally be on them, on their neck, like for a long time. That's why I said Saudis, are, they have the money. They are promoting their country, their culture to the world. They are not a perfect country. It's an Islamic country, definitely. If you're not a Muslim, and if you have some certain view about Muslim, you might not like it. But I don't really have any view about Muslim. I think there are bad Muslims, there are good Muslims, there are Christ good Christian and, and, and bad Christian. The other day I was working, and one of uh, one um, a little kid uh, stole <laughs> stole one of my order. <laughs> it was Moroccan, so. Where does a Muslim grow born grow, grow born and grow up here? Yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So just because someone is like Muslim doesn't mean they're holy. Everybody have their own bad eggs. So I know you're sticking to the narrative of the Europeans, say white uh, uh, spot wash. 
Listen, the Premier League that Nigerians are crazy about in the eighties, it was a boring. It was boring. There was no money or anything like that. I think it was in in, in, in the nineties that they re, they rebranded it, became the Premier League. It used to be called the first division, I guess. Became the Premier League, and then they bought all the best players in Europe and all over the world. Just look at, for example, look at for example, how many players have been taken from Africa, from South America, without without all of those con- those ne- uh, continent, bro. It wouldn't be as good like this. Like if you look in the history, South Americans used to dominate world football. Their clubs, Pele never played uh, never played in Europe, they never played for any club in Europe, but he won three World Cups, and is and he, for me he's the greatest of all time, bro. But it's one of those things we are diverting, you know, the topic. But I get you. If you want to speak on it a little bit, then yeah, continue. But yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, the thing about Saudi is um, they don't make revenue from these sport events. But they're not, doing it, to make, they're not doing it to make revenue, bro. They are doing it to entertain their people. And that's exactly why it's sports washing. I think that's what you what is in this capital. Listen. Saudi Arabia is not a capitalist country. You know that. It's a monarchy, total monarchy. So, the citizens, and that's why people don't want to go there. That's why people around the world hardly travel to Saudi Arabia. It's only Muslims that want to go just to Saudi Arabia. Just say no Muslims. No Muslims because there's already a view. There's already a view. Like, it's just like the tarnished image of Africa, like by Western media. They see Africa as, uh, um, you know, like they think we all live in huts and jungles. This is what they do. This is what they did to the Islam or, you know, the religion. This is what they do to non European It's the same thing they do to China or Asia. Bro, you have to understand the game right here. I think you know better to understand it. But anyways, um... Yeah, continue. Let our brother. Yeah, uh, don't let me take too much time so Ty can jump in. I just feel like Saudi Arabia, for me personally, nobody nobody portrayed anything negative about Saudi for me to know how I feel about Saudi. I know what Saudi is like. I know what it's like. I have family members that have been there before. Um, I'm from a Muslim family, so I understand. And the reason why people hardly go to Saudi is because of their cultural situation. But these days, they are trying to open it up with sports, and that's why they can afford to pay Tyson Fury $100 million. If no, if Saudi Arabia was not going to pay Tyson $100 million, there is no other source in this world where Tyson would have gotten that kind of payment from. So he can enjoy what he has now, but I hope Francis will to beat him. Thanks, but I appreciate taking on this. Tajagwe. What's up, bro? What do you make of this fire right here? And what do you make of Adewale's statement? You know what? Uh, as, an Amer- as, an Amer- as an American, even though you're Nigerian, but you're basically an American because they listen. Uh, I'm still Nigerian, bro. Yeah, I'm I Nigerian, Nigerian, but, 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 I I Nigerian, Nigerian, but but uh, but you see, you 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 you're from like basically you you live in America right now mm-hmm. for many years over 30 years or so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you understand it from a different kind of view you, you can see from a different perspective mm-hmm. just like how Adewale has his own view I also have my own view because I've seen things that make me realize that, okay it's not like it's just this agenda against people that are non white fats or non European let's say that yeah but your take on this or no westerners um, you know, every you guys, everyone, everybody has a everybody has a point. You know, but are we are we talking about boxing or just the Saudi Arabia issue? Or well, let's talk about the boxing first. Then you address okay, a little okay. bit of it. Of it. he said that this is sport washing. I said, I said, I don't see it. Okay, okay. So with uh with Ty- with Tyson Fury being able to get this deal and Francis and Gano in there. I- I'm ext- listen. <laughs> I'm extremely happy for Francis Ongano because one is telling Dana White to go shove it and go kiss his ass, you know, because Dana White didn't want to pay him what it is, and now he's getting he's getting uh, what is it, thirty million? Maybe even more. For the- Wait, didn't Dana White get fired from the UFC? 
Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't. I don't. If it if it was, it would have been trending. I would have picked up on it. But uh, I, I I I think um, you know I'm extremely happy for uh, Francis. That's the only reason I'm I'm glad this fight is happening. Just because of the money side, I think Francis deserves it. You know, he deserves to make money and Dana White being a big conglomerate like himself and not being able to give fighters what they're asking for is an pure it's an embarrassment. But other than that, I just don't see this. Listen, if if that fight was not going to be easy or if it was going to be challenging, Tyson Fury wouldn't have taken the Usyk fight, you know, because now he's really seriously underestimating Usyk on who he is. And for me, I think, you know, he knows that fight is going to be easy and let's, fuck it, let's schedule it for December. But I also think, I also don't believe Tyson Fury is probably going to even gonna make that fight. I believe he's probably going to pull out maybe towards, you know, January and say he's not ready or there's an injury in camp and give everybody false hope, you know. But that's just the way it is. I, I just believe there's room for error and there's room for uh, Tyson Fury to decide I don't want to fight, I want to pull out. And it's going to be, it is what it is. I'm, am, I, am I hoping uh, Ungano shows everybody, proves me wrong, proves everybody wrong, that he's really going to go in there and really bust Tyson's head open? It shows that, oh, man, you know, I can I can fight I'm just not in the UFC. I really want that to happen, but it's usually not the way it is, you know. Uh, I, 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 I just don't see it going any other way. I don't see it, man, you know. But boxing is a much, much more fast-paced sport. You know, they're, they're moving, you know, they're looking, they're looking to land, you know, mentally draining. Not like... Uh, not like um, UFC, you know, they're they're more slow paced and you know they're just not they're they're on top of each other one minute, you know it's it's more of a slower pace and the the, the boxing has longer uh, longer the minutes are longer than the UFC and the rounds are longer, so I do believe uh, as much as and what I've been seeing so far, I'm not too happy on it, you know with. With uh, with Ungano, but it is what it is. Maybe it's just it's just for for laughs on the media side. But I, I, I me personally, I don't want to see it. I don't like it, you know. But Tyson Fury, you know, he's got he's he's holding he's he's the one that's holding up the division. We want to see undisputed. So be it. Let's 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 get the fight going. And it is what it is, you know. But unfortunately, I do believe um, the fight. Tyson Fury is going to entertain that fight up until like maybe the fifth and sixth round, and that's it, you know. Uh, so that's it, man. But um, with the so with the whole situation with Saudi Arabia, I believe Saudi Arabia has been. Um, they, they, I do believe they love sport, but the only sports I've known them to like is of of, of uh, soccer, which is number one. I they, they started getting into wrestling, but I really never knew much about that. But I know they, they, they also they also like the NASCAR races too. You know, I know they love those races. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if they decide if they host something like that over there. If they have everything to they have every bit of it to do something like that over there. But um I think um I I do believe uh they, them hosting those fights is it's it's a way of uh, of 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 trying to change their image, you know, of who of who they are, you know, but you just don't know what they're trying to do. All of a sudden, they're, they're getting into boxing. Boxing is such a big sport, you know, you can make a lot of money. These guys can make a lot of money, you know, especially when it comes to uh, the whoever's hosting that fight, when it comes to the site fees and, and venue fees. And, man, you, got, you have to have money to be able to, to be able to pull that off. You know, these site fees are no joke, you know. Um, even even they're even the, uh, bringing in their own uh, um, um, the broadcasting and who gets the broadcast and everything like that the, the the right to broadcast and shit like it's a lot of money man it's a lot of money and the so I believe you know the Saudis they the, the, they're doing something I can't put my name on it but I can't put I can't put I don't know what exactly what they're doing but they're doing something you know but um it's, it's the Saudis what could you do right. There's nothing you can really do, but as far as I know, they they, they want to make 
they want to make Saudi Arabia the the mecca of of sports of what I'm hearing. So if if you talk of sports, you want to talk of Saudi Arabia. You know, they are they already you know well surpassed in better things than the U- United States. You know, so for, but as as far as I'm concerned, man, as long as as long as they do they do good fights, they they put on good shows. I'm okay with it. You know, I'm seriously okay with it. But that's that's where I'm gonna end it, man. Yeah, bro. You know, I do is very like uh, I know I do is very. So like I said, it's just one of those things you look at, and uh, you know, the other one is very like political in some of the statement. I think they're doing a good job. You know, they're going through their rules, um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I don't mind seeing. Uh, I love fights. I mean, I like seeing fights where they're yeah, taking for fight, fights taking place in. In, in different places, you know, not just Las Vegas or UK, because sport is a worldwide thing. Does not just doesn't like belong to one country alone. So, guys, stay for my right here. God bless you for for uh, subscribing and uh, sharing. Cheers.